On a chilly morning in the Solfaterra crater in Campi Flegre, the air is thick with the pungent smell of sulfur. Wisps of gas hiss from the ground, curling into the sky like silent messengers from deep within the earth. For centuries, these fumaroles have whispered secrets about the restless giant beneath Naples. But recently, those whispers have grown louder, and scientists are beginning to understand why. In 2018, researchers noticed something unusual. The concentration of hydrogen sulfide, the sharp-smelling gas that seeps from Solfaterra's vents, was rising. At first, it seemed like a minor fluctuation, just another change in the complicated chemistry of the hydrothermal system that lies beneath the caldera. But the increase persisted. Month after month, measurements showed higher and higher levels. Curiosity turned into concern. A team from the Vesuvius Observatory of the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology MGVOV, together with colleagues from Palermo, Cambridge, and Woods Hole, began to dig deeper, literally and figuratively. They collected samples, ran chemical analyses, and fed their results into sophisticated models. What they discovered changed the story. Our analysis demonstrates that these variations cannot be explained by surface processes alone, explains Alexander Ayapa, volcanologist at the University of Palermo. The sulfur anomaly is linked to an increasing contribution of magmatic gas. In other words, gases rising from magma, resting 6 to 9 kilometers beneath the crust, were finding their way upward, mingling with the hydrothermal system and altering its chemistry. This intrusion of magmatic gas was heating the underground system, destabilizing minerals and remobilizing sulfur long trapped in rock. The evidence was clear. Since 2018, Campi Flegre has been experiencing a subtle but significant shift. Comparisons with other volcanoes confirm the suspicion. Quiescent systems often release more sulfur when they are slowly reactivating. For decades, scientists assumed that hydrogen sulfide levels at Solfaterra were controlled by low-temperature reactions near the surface. This study showed otherwise. The real novelty, says Giovanni Ciodini of MGV, is documenting a clear change in the origin of sulfur. The increasing magmatic contribution signals an important evolution in the dynamics of Campi Flegre. The findings do not mean an eruption is imminent, but they do confirm that the caldera, already infamous for its bradicism, the slow rise and fall of the ground is undergoing deeper changes that cannot be ignored. These results improve our understanding of the current crisis and remind us why continuous monitoring is vital, stresses Stephen Calero, geochemist at NGVOV and lead author of the study. The dataset behind this research is one of the most complete in the world, spanning over 40 years of gas measurements at Solfaterra. Each sample, carefully collected and analyzed, is like a page in a diary that tells the evolving story of the caldera. Thanks to this long-term record, scientists can now see patterns that would otherwise remain invisible. And the work is far from finished. Ongoing studies aim to refine interpretations, combining gas analysis with seismic data, ground deformation, and even submarine surveys of the caldera. Each new piece of information adds depth to the picture, helping scientists anticipate what the restless giant beneath Naples might do next. As these studies are carried out is a complex story. First of all, there is the painstaking research work in the field, then the exhausting optical microscope view at high magnifications of what may be of interest. At this point, the area of interest of the sample must be pushed to be able to find it again subsequently. Then a first pass is done with the electron microscope vision, which allows us very high magnifications, and at the same time, the chemical analysis of the mineral is carried out non-destructive analysis because we work at low pressure and without the need to metallize the sample. This is one of the most complex volcanic systems on Earth, says Moro A. DeVito, director of NGVOV. Only continuous multi-parameter monitoring will give us the tools to manage its risks responsibly. The sulfur rising from Solfaterra may seem like nothing more than a foul-smelling nuisance to the visitors who wrinkle their noses at its vapors. But for scientists, each plume is a warning sign, a coded message from the magma below. And right now, those messages are saying that change is underway. Campi Flegre is stirring, 
Not with the sudden roar of an eruption, but with the slow, steady pulse of a giant waking from slumber. 